once again i am dr rajnesh kumar associate professor in noida institute of engineering and technology pharmacy institute coming in front of you with the last topic of uh, uh, unit 5th of pharmaceutical organic chemistry third the subject code is bp401t hmm. so in this topic we will discuss about one a more important reaction that is Claisen Schmidt condensation. Okay. So, in previous lecture, we have discussed all the name reaction as per your syllabus, uh, which includes Schmidt rearrangements. We have also discussed Beckman rearrangements, we have discussed Wolf Kishner reaction, uh, we have discussed uh, Clementian reduction, we have discussed Dakin oxidation reaction or Dakin reaction. We have also discussed uh, Bates reduction. So, uh, we have also discussed Opinor. So, when you uh, uh, thus revisit the fifth unit, you have uh, you will find that the unit fifth contain oxidation reaction, for example, Opinor as well as Dakin, different reduction reaction, for example, Bates, Wav Kisno, hmm, Clementian then reduction by using metal hydride reagents. It is also uh, consist of rea uh, rearrangement reaction for example, Schmidt rearrangements and the Beckman rearrangements. So, three class of the uh, reactions have been discussed in this particular unit till so now uh, till now. Uh, so, in the continuation of the previous name reaction, we will focus on another important name reaction that is Claisen Schmidt condensation reaction. Okay. So, before starting this condensation reaction, I want to make you remember about some important uh, reaction which we have already known about. So, uh, you know about uh, you, you know about the aldol condensation reaction, hmm. you know about the Canizaro reaction, we you know about the uh, uh, cross aldol reactions. Okay. So, in aldol condensation, you know that in the presence of base, for example, NaOH or the sodium methoxide to benzaldehydes, so or you can say aldehyde or ketone molecules are reacted together and condensation occur. When I am talking about condensation occur, condensation means there is a removal of one mole of water. Okay. So, kya hota hai? Aldol condensation mein kya hota tha? Do ketone molecules ya fir do aldehyde molecules aapas mein add hote the in the presence of base aur ek water molecule remove hota tha. Hmm. Jab hum ek hi tarah ke benzaldehyde use karte the to hum bolte the aldol condensation. Jab hum alag alag tarah ke benzaldehyde use karte the ye sorry jab hum alag alag tarah ke aldehyde ya ketone use karte the to hum log bolte the cross aldol condensation. In cross aldol or aldol condensation the product will be alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound and in this reaction Claisen Schmidt reaction will also get the same product that is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds as a product in the last of the reaction. So, similarities kya hai actually there are some similarities in the reaction mechanism hmm, and the substrate. So, as we have uh, we have used the base uh, for the aldol condensation as a catalyst, we will also use base here as a catalyst for the completion of that Claisen Schmidt condensation reaction. That reaction will uh, proceed in the same reaction mechanism as the aldol condensation or the cross aldol condensation uh, have gone. So, <coughs> uh, before wasting any time, we start the Claisen Schmidt condensation reaction. So, here we go. So, hota kya Claisen Schmidt reactions uh, may ya Claisen Schmidt condensation reaction may. This reaction is happening in between an aldehyde or ketone. Ek aldehyde or ketone ke beech mein reaction hogi. Or this reaction actually happening in between an aldehyde or ketone having alpha hydrogen. Jahan pe humne aldol condensation mein dekha tha wahan par dono ke paas alpha hydrogen tha cross aldol condensation mein lekin yahan par hum dekh rahe hain ki aldehyde ketone ke paas to alpha hydrogen hai lekin hamara jo dusra substrate hai aromatic carbonyl compounds 
उसके पास अल्फा हाइड्रोजन नहीं है ओके द रिएक्शन विल प्रोसीड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ बेस एंड एट लोअर टेम्परेचर तो आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग द रिएक्शन बिटवीन एन एल्डिहाइड और कीटोन हैविंग एन एल्फा हाइड्रोजन बिट विद द सेकेंड कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड विच इज नॉट हैविंग एल्फा हाइड्रोजन अगेन रिपीटिंग दो कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड्स के बीच में रिएक्शन हो रही है एक के पास एल्फा हाइड्रोजन है दूसरे के पास एल्फा हाइड्रोजन नहीं है एंड द रिएक्शन इज हैपनिंग इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ बेस ओके एंड एट वेरी लो टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर शुड बी अबाउट थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड दैट रिएक्शन इज नोन एज क्लेजियन शिमिट कंडेंसेशन रिएक्शन दिस रिएक्शन इज नेम्ड आफ्टर टू ऑफ इट्स पायोनियर इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स रेनर लुडविक क्लेजियन एंड जे जी शिमिट सो वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन बिफोर दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द नेम रिएक्शन इज नेम्ड uh on uh, the scientists which uh, who have discovered them so likewise here two scientists are involved <coughs> uh, for the discovery of this reaction one is rainer ludwig klesian and another is j g schmidt okay so uh, they are the uh, big name in organic chemistry they independently publish this reaction in 1880 and 1881 okay so after the name of these two reactions uh, uh, these two scientists we have named this condensation reaction as klesian schmidt condensation reaction so kya point note kiya hai hum logon ne we have noted down two point number 1 this is the reaction which is happening in between two carbonyl compounds one carbonyl compound is having alpha hydrogen and second carbonyl compound does not have any alpha hydrogen second point is this is again happening in the presence of base hmm. most probably sometime acidic catalyst can also be used but but most probably uh, 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 this reaction is happening in presence of base okay and the third point is is it is happening in its little bit lower temperature approximately 30 degree centigrade okay hmm. so as i told you Uh, or just uh, uh, reminded you that in aldol condensation what uh, was the product the product was alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound the same product will be formed in this reaction okay so the condensation of an aromatic aldehyde with aliphatic aldehyde or ketone in the presence of a base or an acid i told you that an acid can also be used okay Uh, as a catalyst at lower temperature to form alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde or ketone when we uh, use aldehyde <coughs> the product uh, will alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde when we use ketone the product will be alpha beta unsaturated ketone mm. and this reaction is highly chemoselective okay so ketone with high chemoselectivity is generally known as the clemian schmidt so again the point should be noted down that it is a highly chemoselective reaction okay you can see the reaction now there you can see one carbonyl compounds second carbonyl compounds okay so this is the carbonyl carbon the next carbon to the uh, functional uh, functional group carbon is this it is alpha carbon and you can see there are the presence of two hydrogen atom on the alpha carbon means two hydrogen two alpha hydrogen is present on uh, uh, the alpha carbon so this is the example of or uh, carbonyl compound which is having alpha hydrogen carbonyl group with alpha hydrogen now come to the second Mm, uh, uh, substrate which is again a carbonyl compounds but this is not having any uh, you can say alpha hydrogen okay so this is r this r is not having any mm, alpha hydrogen don't uh, take it as methyl or ethyl group okay this is this is the r suppose karu like this okay like this i i just remove it and again so this is r what this is like c ch3 c 
CS3, CS3, it again suppose CS3, CS3, CS3. So, you can see this is a carbonyl carbon, okay. the carbon next to this carbon carbon is alpha, this is alpha carbon okay. and that alpha carbon does not have any hydrogen means this is the carbonyl group which is not having any alpha hydrogen. So, the reaction is taking place in between a carbonyl compounds having alpha hydrogen and an carbonyl compounds uh, which is not having any alpha hydrogen the reaction is taking place in the presence of base. Okay. So, what is happening? Condensation occur. Condensation means you can see a removal of one mole of water is have, uh, going on and, and now you can see this is the carbonyl carbon. The car next carbon to this carbonyl carbon is alpha carbon and next carbon is beta. So, there is a saturation, there is saturation, unsaturation in between alpha and beta. So, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound is being formed in Claisian Schmidt reaction by the reaction in between and car, uh, between a carbonyl compounds having alpha hydrogen with <coughs> a carbonyl compound which does not have alpha hydrogen in the presence of base with the removal of water is known as Claisian Schmidt condensation reaction. Okay. Now, coming to the mechanism of reaction. So, in short, I, I just want to remind you this reaction when we are when we use base uh, for the cat, uh, for the catalysis of this reaction will go in the same manner as we have seen in the aldol condensation. Okay. <coughs> so, in aldol condensation, what is happening? What is happening? Suppose we are having a benzaldehyde, I just make you remember. Hmm. So, suppose we are having a benzaldehyde CHO like this okay, or any other, I just change the example. Suppose we are having this ben, this aldehyde CHO. Okay. So, in this uh, particular benzaldehyde, what is happening actually? Uh, there is formation of carbonine. Okay. How? because the proton is abstracted from by the base because of that a carbonyl is being formed that carbonyl will be attacked by a carbocation which comes from the second carbonyl compounds which is being used okay after that the addition of two uh, molecule happening with the removal of water and ultimately we will get alpha beta and saturated carbonyl compounds so in the same manner claisian schmidt condensation reaction occur when we are base, when we use base as a catalyst. Hmm. So, you can read out the first part of this reaction is an aldol reaction means aldol will be formed aldol you should know about that in aldol reaction we have uh, discussed hmm. the second part of dehydration in first part when uh, uh, the carbonyl is being attacked by the carbocation and the product form is known as aldol. After that, what is happening? Removal of water, okay. dehydration occur. Hmm. So, elimination ho hai. So, involves the removal of water molecule to an al or an alcohol molecule. When we use uh, sodium ethoxides or metal ethoxide as a base, then ethanol molecule will be hmm, removed. If we are using base like NaOS, then water molecule will be removed. Okay. Dehydration may be accompanied by the decarboxylation when an active uh, activated carboxyl group is there. Allyl addition product can be dehydrated via two mechanism a strong base I told you like potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide in a, an enolate mechanism. So, how it is happening we will see. Here. So, this is an example of the base catalyzed aldol reaction which is the first step of the claisian schmidt condensation reaction. So, you can see hmm, we are having a carbonyl group. Okay. This is a carbonyl carbon, this is a alpha carbon. This alpha carbon is having an uh, having a alpha hydrogen as you can see. Okay. So, <coughs> you can see OCS 3 methoxy, 
methoxy anion is coming as a base ok mm. and what will it do? It will abstract a proton from this particular carbonyl compound which is having alpha hydrogen that alpha hydrogen will be abstracted from the base in this particular example it is methoxide anion. So, this proton will be taken away by this base OCS 3 minus how this proton uh, will be removed after uh, donating its electron towards the carbon ok and this carbon simultaneously <coughs> as electron uh, sorry the oxygen carbonyl oxygen is more electronegative the carbonyl bond you know that it is a polar bond. So, oxygen always pulls the electron towards its so, ye electron oxygen ki chale jayenge. this oxygen become negative charge this oxygen become this carbon carbonyl carbon become positive charge and that is those electrons which is <coughs> donated by the hydrogen it will comes towards uh, uh, this carbon a new double bond is being formed in between this carbon and this carbon by the removal of a s plus towards the base ok here you can see a new bond is being formed and oxygen carry the negative charge. So, enolate ion you know that this the oxygen having the negative charge is known as the enolate ion ok. So, enolate ion is being formed in the first step. <coughs> so, once the enolate ion is being formed how it is uh, then now what is happening see now the second carbonyl coming the second carbonyl compound is coming and again carbonyl group is there we know, we know that the carbonyl group is the uh, is having the double bond in between oxygen and carbon which is a polar bond. So, here you can see because oxygen is more electronegative it uh, it attract the electron towards its this carbon become positively charged when this carbon become positive charge these electrons will be utilized to form a new bond between this carbon and this carbon you can see a new bond this will be formed in between this carbon and this carbon hmm. and we are getting another anions ok. And you know that you know that the proton which will be taken away by the OCS 3 minus is there in the reaction mixture. So, at the, uh, that that uh, CS 3 OH will again donates H plus towards this negative charge oxygen atom and you know that this is the formation of aldol. So, I am going up for aldol mil gaya hai ok aldol this is the first step of the Claisian Schmidt condensation reaction. Now, when we get this electron uh, sorry this aldol that aldol formation will always um, followed by the <coughs> dehydration in which one molecule, uh, one molecule of water will be removed. How it will be removed again you know that C S 3 O methoxy group is there C S 3 O minus is there ok. It will again come towards this aldol ok and and what will we do? Ye kya karega? Ye is H ko dobara se nikalega deprotonation kar raha hai ok you can so you can see and and this hydrogen will be removed from here C S 3 O H nikal jayega you can say ok or ye apne electron kaha dekhe gaya ye apne electron dekhe gaya yaha par at the same time different uh, you can say a delocalization of the electrons occur ok uh, um, and in the last loss of this hydroxyl group occur yaha se O H nikal jayega H nikla hua hai and we will get alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde as a product of Claisian Schmidt condensation reaction. This is the, the one uh, type of mechanism which is very prominent most acceptable. Then Claisian Schmidt condensation reaction can also be done by using acid catalyst. So, here you can see we have also discussed this. So, this is the example of acid catalyzed Claisian Schmidt condensation reaction. So, you can see this is one carbonyl group ok. Now, if we are using acid catalyst. So, acid catalyst will always provide H plus ye H plus aega humare paas H plus aya 
और ये एच प्लस कहाँ चला गया इस ऑक्सीजन पे चला गया दिस द लोन पेयर ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन विल बी यूटिलाइज टू फॉर्म ए न्यू बॉन्ड इन बिटवीन दिस ऑक्सीजन एंड दिस हाइड्रोजन सो इन दैट प्रोसेस दिस ऑक्सीजन बिकम पॉजिटिव चार्ज ओके ऑक्सीजन बिकम पॉजिटिव चार्ज वी हैव गॉट प्रोटोनेटेड कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड नाउ दैट प्रोटोनेटेड कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड विल बी एक्टिंग एज ए इलेक्ट्रोफाइल ओके एंड अनदर थिंग इज वॉट इज हैपनिंग से वैन ओ एच इज देयर ओके दिस इज द सेकेंड मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ द कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड दूसरा तो एक कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड जो है वो इलेक्ट्रोफाइल की तरह काम कर रहा है द सेकेंड कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड विल बी एक्टिंग एज ए न्यूक्लियो फाइल हाउ हाउ इट इज हैपनिंग दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल बी यूटिलाइज ओके दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल बी यूटिलाइज टू फॉर्म ए बॉन्ड इन बिटवीन दिस कार्बन एंड यू कैन सी दिस कार्बन ओके दिस कार्बन एंड दिस कार्बन ओके सो यू कैन सी ओवर देयर वी आर गेटिंग दिस मॉलिक्यूल इन विच ऑक्सीजन इज पॉसिबली चार्ज हेयर यू कैन सी दिस ऑक्सीजन इज दिस एंड दिस ऑक्सीजन इज पॉजिटिव चार्ज बिकॉज ऑफ द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द लोन प्योर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑन द ऑक्सीजन एंड इन द लास्ट वेन दिस बॉन्ड विल बी ब्रोक इन वन एच प्लस विल बी रिमूव एंड वी आर गेटिंग द एल्डॉल इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप रिमूवल ऑफ वन मोल ऑफ वाटर अकर ओके मीन्स डिहाइड्रेशन इज गोइंग ऑन सो एल्डॉल इज देयर एच प्लस इज कमिंग अगेन फ्रॉम द एसिड कैटलिस्ट यू कैन सी एंड वाट इज हैपनिंग प्रोटोनेशन अकर ओके सो दिस एच प्लस गोइंग टू वाच द ऑक्सीजन दिस ऑक्सीजन द लोन प्योर ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन विल बी यूटिलाइज टू फॉर्म ए बॉन्ड इन बिटवीन दिस हाइड्रोजन एंड दिस ऑक्सीजन इन दैट प्रोसेस दिस ऑक्सीजन बिकम पॉजिटिवली चार्ज ओके यू कैन सी ओवर देयर ओके सो अगेन दिस बॉन्ड विल बी ब्रोक इन एंड एस टू ओल बी रिमूव्ड इन दैट प्रोसेस दिस ऑक्सीजन दिस कार्बन बिकम पॉजिटिव चार्ज वैन दिस कार्बन बिकम पॉजिटिव चार्ज अगेन दिस दिस hydrogen will be removed hmm and it will be removed after uh, taking its electrons so these electrons will be utilized to form a new bond between this carbon and this carbon so you can see over here there is a formation of a new bond in between this carbon and this carbon and this is a carbonyl carbon this is alpha this is beta carbon so we are getting alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde as a product of lagian symmetry reaction in the last so i mean to say that clausian symmetry react condensation reaction can be done in two way one by utilizing base as a catalyst in the second way by utilizing acid catalyst okay in the in both the way uh, in first step aldol formation is taking place the formation of aldol occur in the second step dehydration occur okay in the last uh, we will get alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde as a product of clausian schmidt condensation reaction okay hmm. now coming to the important uh, aspect of clausian schmidt condensation reaction that is synthetic applications okay so uh, uh, this reaction is very very much important because various compounds various compounds for example cinnamaldehyde for example benzaldehyde as stone okay for example cinnamon cinnamon aldehyde like this ch double bond ch ch o this is cinnamon aldehyde okay so alpha beta example of unsaturated alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds okay for example benzaldehyde acetone so what is benzaldehyde acetone this is cho sorry ch double bond ch c o c s 3 so this is cinnamaldehyde this is benzaldehyde acetone very 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 important molecules because these are used in perfumery industry uh, 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 perfumery uh, industry okay they provides very good smell okay they can be obtained by clausian schmidt condensation reaction how they can be obtained 
suppose we will react benzaldehyde with second uh, with second carbonyl compound that is like this. So, this is acetaldehyde it is having 3 uh, alpha hydrogen this is a alpha carbon it is having 3 alpha hydrogen this is benzaldehyde ok this is not having any alpha hydrogen. So, reaction between a carbonyl compounds which is having alpha hydrogen is taking place with a second carbonyl compound which is not having any alpha hydrogen ok the reaction can be done in basic medium ok. So, by the reaction of benzaldehyde with acetaldehyde in basic, basic medium we can obtain cinnamaldehyde which is having very very good smell. So, it can also be used in perfumery study uh, perfumery industry ok. When uh, I am talking about ben, the second molecule that is benzaldehyde acetone. So, when we react when we react benzaldehyde with acetone benzaldehyde with acetone in the same reaction condition we will get benzaldehyde acetone ok. You can see we are having benzaldehyde having no alpha hydrogen we are having acetone having 6 alpha hydrogen this is alpha carbon alpha carbon uh, 3 alpha hydrogen is there 3 alpha hydrogen is there. So, both are reacting in the basic median to provide benzaldehyde acetone it is again a compound uh, with very good uh, smell. So, it uh, can also be used in perfumery standry uh, industry. Uh, the next uh, um, important application of the cleaging schmidt uh, condensation reaction is synthesis of chalcon. For example, we will use acetophenone like C or C S 3 when it will react with benzaldehyde. We are taking the example of benzaldehyde which is very very simple and does not have any alpha carbon. So, when acetophenone is reacting with uh, benzaldehydes having no alpha hydrogen having alpha hydrogen alpha carbon 3 alpha hydrogen is there. So, what is happening we are getting a product like this ok. Like this, okay. So this is a chalcone. This is known as chalcone. Very very important molecule in synthetic chemistry. It can also it can be used in the preparation of various molecules. For example, pyrazoline. For example. Uh, benzthiazole so many molecules pyrazoline synthesis chalcone is uh, used widely. So, you can see alpha carbon beta carbon alpha beta and saturated carbon compounds are there. So, synthesis of chalcone is taking place by using collision symmetry reaction the reaction has been applied to the preparation of chalcone as I told you flavone flavinone 1 3 diaryl propane derivatives also this condensation is found to be accelerated by microwave activation either in the polar solvent for example, water or without solvents starting from aldehyde or by means of acetal. The magnesium oxide crystal has been applied as a catalyst in this particular reaction. It has also been observed that the reactants with substituents group in either of two aromatic ring undergo the collision symmetry reaction condensation at the slowest rate than the unsubstituted reactant. The important point is if unsubstituted reactants are there then collision symmetry reaction can be performed in better way at uh, higher speed. Hmm. So, I hope students uh, you have enjoyed this lecture. So, thank you so much. Hmm. Uh, take care. Bye.